Yes, it's hit wide! It's gone over wide! And... Welcome back to FBTV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at Jack Spear Park for this Canale Cup semi-final between Capital One Turinga Rovers and Trophy Superstore BPL side Logan FC. Turinga have taken some scalps along the way including BPL side Brisbane Force. So this will be no walk in the park for the BPL side. I think we're in for a classic game of football. The officials for tonight's Canale Cup semi-final are referee Casey Roybelt and her assistant referees, Brody Main and Russell Yarrow. Mengel goes long. Flicked on on the inside off Mesa. Skiluna. It's through, shoots, it's hit wide, it's gone over wide. And Skiluna gives Turinga the lead in the second minute. Oh, they're happy. They've stung the Premier League side. Let's have a look. Flicked on. Messi can only get enough ahead to put it into the middle. Skick Luna uses his pace. Hits it hard. Hits White's legs. Could have gone anywhere, but it's gone in the back of the net. It's game on here at Jack Spear Park. Nagroski forward gets it back. Lots of blue shirts. The Groyski still going all line with the challenge. Foul on the edge of the box. Could be lucky not to get a card. Does get a yellow one. Dangerous position. Let's have a look. The Groyski through. Yeah, didn't get any ball. Realised it. Hand straight up. No argument. Boland hits it into the wall and cleared away by Truman. Sundstrom forward. Cut out. Voiland gets the touch. Randall lays it off. Clark. Oh, Voiland goes down. Neustrom and him come together. Let's have a look. They're complaining. Voiland forward. Randall with the touch. Clark. Yeah, there's a clip there. Accidental. Neustrom looking at the ball. Outside the box anyway. Long throw. Sundstrom down. Chester turns tight, hits it and scores from the edge of the box. Fantastic strike from Turinga, striker to make it 2-0. Oh, let's have a look at that again. He's hit it sweet, long throw. Ball away, bobbling around, finally comes down. Good touch. Does Hall on the edge of the box, gives White no chance. Makes it 2-0. Long ball forward, Chester on the end of it again. He's absolutely everywhere in this first 20 minutes. Messer can do nothing else but put it out for a corner. Delivered in. Again, it's off the post. Chester at the back post. Makes it 3 0. Oh, Taringa's heading off to the final at this rate. 22 minutes, 3 0 to the home side. Simmons with the corner. Skick Luna's in there. It's come off players off the post. Chester doesn't care. He's put it in the back of the net. Turinga definitely in the driving seat. Ask him with the ball for it's been cut out. Does well to win it back off Messer. Giving the away side no chance. Turinga. Greer. Touch off. Out comes Mengel. Good save in the end. Nagroski forward. Randall keeps the ball going. Voland in behind, gets his head up, cuts it back. Mingle with the touch. Hall shoots. Good save to his left by the Turinga custodian. Kemmel up the line. Good touch from Clark back for Hall. Hall gives it straight back. Ball crossed in. Randall off the bar, off the keeper and in the back of the net. Drags one back in the 28th minute. Kemmel with a good ball forward. Great touch, Clark. 
Good vision from the young player Hall. Clark gets it down. Three players around him. Both central defenders are out there. Ball floated in. Randall over the top, off the crossbar. Hits the keeper. Again, won't care. 3-1. Biss it forward. Oh, it's dropped! Luna has put it just the wrong side of the post. White goes long. One by Randall. Pushing the back. Play on, says the referee. No, nope, we'll come back for the free kick. Clear push. Voland floats it into the box. Back post, Clark, and floats over the bar. Nagorski, Randall, cuts inside, still going. Clips it. I think that was a shot. Well off target. Mengel goes long. One in the air ahead of Sundstrom. Clark, little bit of space. Gets his head down, shoots, and again, Mengel in the right place at the right time. Good goalkeeping. Voland floats it into the box, headed away. Ooh, put, poor touch, Nagroyski. Voland delivers another corner into the box. Sundstrom up there, ball still not cleared. Shot from Hall. Wide of the mark. Biss it forward. Hall gets clipped, picks up a free kick. Voland again drives it into the box. Mengel's coming, he hasn't kicked it out. Clark makes it 3 2. Let's have a look. Voland drives it into the box, drops it right on the edge of the six yard box. Mengel comes, gets under it, doesn't hold it. Clark throws himself at the ball to make sure it goes in the back of the net. 3 2. Fairy tale could be over for Turinga. They still up by one. Headed away. They're still getting the drop of the ball. They're still winning the 50 50s. They've picked up a free kick in another dangerous position. Chester and Simmons over the ball. Chester goes through the wall. Ooh, and a touch from Rogorski. Simmons into the box. Over everyone. And out for a goal kick. Hall clips it for Kemmel who kept his run going, drives it into the box and Randall couldn't quite get enough onto it. Kemmel with the throw, Clark, Truman all over his back, Voland again dangerous looking ball and Mengel under pressure holds a good catch, White goes long. Greer forward. Oh, the two central offenders get it wrong. Clark's got through the gap and equalised in the 54th minute. Oh, from 3 0 up to 3 all. This will be a test. Truman and Nistrom can't get their communication lines right. Two players there. Clark, sure footed, makes it 3 all here at Jack Spear. Trotsky's headed down. Randall doesn't like the attention he's been getting. Volan, referee, blows the whistle. Randall blows up. Askin with the talking to. Voland again drops it into the box. Nistrum with the header. Greer there. Oh, miss hit won't come down finally cleared Greer inside Clark with the ball back it's beaten everyone though Kentering a break quickly Mullins back Kemmel Clark goes past Truman keeps his feet puts his shot the wrong side of the post again Greer great searching ball Kostovsky Gets it across! And Randall just couldn't get a toe on it. Voland. Driven in. Oh, Mengel comes. Sundstrom! Won't go in. Clark! Safe from the keeper. 
and finally belts it up the park. Nagroski. Ooh, intercepted. Ellis, early ball, looking for Chester. Takes on Bissett, goes down. Free kick, says the referee. Question is, inside or outside the box? Bissett gets a card. I'd suggest this is outside the box. Let's have a look. Chester. Ooh, he's inside. Ooh, a foul. It should be a penalty at that rate. If there was a foul, the referee says it was. Ooh, inside the box for mine. Chester. Straight into the wall. Greer, straight up the park. Mengel goes long. Ooh, the miss headed there. Ball back inside. The shot from Chester. This time, well wide of the mark. Degroski fouled on the far side. Voland into the box. Sundstrom makes it four and gives the visitors the lead for the first time tonight in the 72nd minute. Let's have a look again. Great delivery from Voland. Sundstrom far post. Wins the header. Gives Logan the lead. White goes long. Nistrum gets a touch. Voland first time. Clark. Waiting. Clips it to the far post. Kotoski! Good save, Mingle. Good reflexes. Kemmel gets enough in there. Bissett. Ooh, brought down late. Bad challenge in the end of the day. Marchant gets a card. Left the ground, really not going for the ball. Had his back turned, couldn't know where it was. Greer. Looking for Kosovsky. Who gets there, does well, cuts it back. Ball put straight up and under. Brown. Gets it in early. Ooh, Clark, that was some good defending. Brown with the left foot. Can't keep his effort down. Mengel. Headed on. Kemmel. Rolls it. Clark. Kovstoski. Hits it. An outside netting. Chester. Nagorski in the back. Simmons with the ball forward. Oh, and Sundstrom needed to get a touch on that with Nistrum at the behind him. Into the box. And again, Sundstrom there to make sure there's no danger. In hard and low. Off Randall. And out for another corner. It's all pressure. Clipped on. Brown gets there and puts it up the park. Long throw. Marchant rolls it back. The ball forward. Chester! Straight into the hands of White. There was the opportunity to bring it back to four all. Have they run out of time, the home side? Oh, poor touch. Clark. Cuts it in early. Brown! Off the back of the defender. Again, pumped up the puck. This time Chester's got in behind. What can he do? He can lob White and equalise in the 90th minute. Oh, what a game this semi-finals turned out to be. Let's have a look. The crowd go off. Good support for the home side tonight here. They're happy. They've got extra time coming up at least. Let's have a look. March it up and under it. Puts it forward in hope. Back three. Very flat. Chester, first one to react. Great finish. White, no chance. There we have it. 
end of the 90 minutes we're at four all here at Jack Spear Park in this semi-final of the Canale Cup asking forward Simovic's ball cut out Sundstrom Kostoski McGroyski rolls it through the channel and a good touch by Simons to make sure it goes out for a corner Greer into the box Mengel comes can't hold off the line by Simon Sundstrom again keeper with a touch Sundstrom with a touch result is a goal kick players not happy someone wants to have a go I think it's Nistrom and Sundstrom Kovtoski still going gets called back I think he put a hand on the shoulder Simons forward headed away again cleared up the park Askin Greer with the corner clips it in Nistrom with the touch Kemmel looking to get the ball in tries Skick Luna does very well puts it out for a throw in Kemmel with the throw Clark dispossessed corner for the wayside Greer clips it in Kovtoski come to the near post it's squeezed between keeper and the player on the post and Logan are in the lead in the 96 minute let's have a look ball in Kovtoski great header maybe the keeper could have done better Sundstrom Nistrom down Askin fluffs his lines, Greer early, Brown inside, Clark looking for somewhere to shoot, lands on the ball, Nistrum strong, Chester still going, picks up the free kick, he's been a menace all night Stephen Chester, Simmons into the box, Headed back and rolls out for a goal kick. Randall rolls it inside. Clark shoots. Nowhere near the mark. Long throw. Gets a toe in. Randall. Clark shoots from distance. It's beat the keeper. It's also beat the post and gone out for a goal kick. Headed on. Skick Luna forward. Marchant cuts in. Pulls the trigger with his left. Puts it the wrong side of the post. Second half of extra time here at Jack Spear Park. Greer. Nagroyski floats it up the channel. Clark does well. Looking for support. Twisting, turning, still comes away with it. Puts it into the middle, Randall! Gets a header on it. Should have got it on target. Again, good lead up play off Clark Brown with a great ball. Mengel comes, can't get there! And it rolls, touches the post. And goes out for a goal kick. Dash out jumped. Push in the back. Yes, says the referee. Sundstrom, I think. Chester. Hits it. It moves in the air, but it keeps travelling up and goes over the bar. Simmons with the ball in. Sundstrom with it away. Good defensive header. Ball lobbed high into the box. Kick Luna gets it forward. And a shot on the turn from Ellis. Well held. Greer and Brown. Oh, in from behind. That's going to be a free kick. Which a lot looks a lot like a corner, but there's a card involved there as well. Mengel pumps it up the park. 
Nagroyski in after the ball, taking the legs. Again, delivered in. Good header, Sundstrom. He's been very, very good in defence in the air tonight. Marchant gets it back into the danger zone. A clip from behind. Sees the pressure released. And a free kick to Logan. White goes long. And that's the final whistle, which sees this semi-final of the 2013 Canale Cup and Turinga Rovers 4, Logan FC 5. Mick, a fair, a fair dinkum, good show by the lads tonight. They gave everything they had uh, in the end, I think, maybe just some tired legs prevented you from going on. Yeah, I'm really proud of the boys, Blanche, you know, um, and, you know, we went 3-0 up and we, you know, we, we, we did really well tonight. We had a plan and it, it worked well and, you know, we're still, you know, we could have probably retained the ball a little bit better when we went that, that third goal up, but, um, you know, I can't complain. The boys gave everything they had tonight and Logan know they were in a football game, yeah. It was it was a classic semi-final, um, yeah. Turinga written off I suppose purely because of Capital One up against the BPL side certainly not the case especially for the first half I thought you guys really did dominate and uh, took it to Logan of course three goals was the proof in that pudding yeah yeah exactly and um, you know the boys are really uh, a really capable side they can they can play really well and there's a lot of positives to look forward to next season um, but it's just a consistency and um, but one-off games like tonight yeah we, we we really really did quite well and um, it just goes to show and the boys can really hold the head I think I think we lack a little bit of self-belief, but um, you know they they, they they really shouldn't. So hopefully next season is the start of you know bigger and better things for the club, and we can you know learn from this and and push on and know that we're not far off the mark. And uh, you know hopefully in our league next year we'll be uh, a little bit more consistent in how we play and you know give it a really good crack. To be fair, look very flat in the first half hour to first half. Yeah, I thought we were pretty flat the whole game. To be honest, I think. Um the power game on Saturday took a lot out of us. We were very good Saturday, um, but everyone had to be at their best Saturday, and um, it obviously has taken a lot, of, taken a big toll. And we come out, and um, you know, thought we'd play well, and you know, we never thought it would be easy, but we've come out, and uh, they've taken some good chances. You know, not really any mistakes from us, just them being in the right space at the right time and uh, wanting it more, and um, creating their own luck, which they did. So, and they deserved to be in front, you know. Uh, the style, we knew what style they were going to play and it worked and then we just threw it back at them and did it slightly better. It had all the fairy tale essence but in the end of the day the lads wore them down and uh, come away, be it, during extra time. Yeah, probably 120 minutes was what I wanted to do tonight. Um, but yeah, I just said to the boys it'd be dis disrespectful to the coaching staff if we didn't come over the top of them. But the amount of fitness work we do and the amount of the big pre-season we had and us playing at a higher level week in, week out, uh, and and the youth in the in the squad, I said I I just I said it would be disrespectful if we got beat. Um, you know, wasn't going our way early, and, and attitude wasn't poor. We we were trying, we were just a bit heavy, and the field obviously did, did us no favours. But both teams had to play there, but they've obviously been doing it all season and uh, know how to play it better than us. And it just took us a while to adjust. Who would have thought Logan FC in final Canale Cup, possible chance at top six. You know, if we're you know if we're not overachieving and, and above any other team in the comp. Um, you know, I'd just take my hat off to the boys, you know, for a bunch of young boys, um, you know, they're doing so well, they're exceeded expectations, you know, even being here tonight, you know, even if we lost it, we still, we still exceeded expectations by being here, um, you know, it was just a, such a privilege to be a part of the semi-final tonight and, uh, you know, Turinga put on, you know, were very welcoming to us and a good bunch of lads and, you know, it's nice to go into the final, it's history. Um, you've proven you can beat power, maybe not proven Wolves, but if you can beat power, I think there's every chance you can take on any other side in the league. Yeah, well, Wolves have put 14 goals past us in two games, uh, where um, Powell's only put one. So it probably gives you a hint on who I'd rather, I'd prefer to play, but at the same token, I think Sam Safe even said it two weeks ago when he got beat by Powell, they are the best individuals in the comp, and look at the cattle they've got, oh, you, know, you know, there's so many good guys there, and, and Mooney and Maka do a great job there, and... And Sam does it, you know, for, for Sam's indifferent, you know, but uh, he does a great job. So both teams are well drilled, well coached. So either team's going to be hard. 
either team we play is going to be the favourite. We'll be, you know, if you're a betting man, they'll be a dollar and one, and we'll be twenty to one. And um, yeah, we'll have to be absolutely our best to win it. And there we have it, a five-four victory after extra time here at Jack Spear Park between Turinga Rovers and Logan FC. Logan eventually move on to the grand final.